All right, let's show things over to Meredith to see what our Tuesday morning's looking like. And it looks like you have some really nice photos of this blood moon. Yes, we got some great photos. So let's go from coast to coast. This first one is right here in Solvang, California. Deborah sent us this one. You can see the moon just sitting over the mountains. Now let's go to the center of the United States. I also got this one on Facebook from Bonnie Fleming in Rapid City, South Dakota. You can see the moon just above the buffalo grazing. How cool is that? And then the other coast, this is in Florida. This was sent in Sarasota, Florida. So the Gulf Coast, so the blood moon scene everywhere. Of course, we love getting your photos. Send them in anytime and we'll try to give you a shout out on the air. That's good you were able to see it because now we have that fog sitting over us again. This is our live look from here in Santa Barbara. And a lot of people seeing fog this morning pretty much up and down the coast. You can see the low clouds and that's keeping our temperatures fairly mild for this hour, mostly in the 50s. But we're going to see this eventually break up as we get into the day and we'll start to see some sunshine. In fact, we're getting some clearing a little bit on the south coast, more so the valleys seeing the clearing before the coast. But as we get into the day, as I mentioned, we'll We'll get more sunshine and see those temperatures pop up above average again into the 70s in most areas. It's going to be slightly cooler than yesterday, but still enough to notice that we are warmer than where we should be for this time of year. 65 in Lompoc, Buellton coming in at 80. Santa Inez Valley will be in the upper 70s. And we're going to see 60s at the beaches in San Luis Obispo County. Inlands where you're going to see those 80s, upper 70s, even some upper 60s as well in Ventura County. The valleys are going to warm up the most today in the 80s and we'll see 70s from Oxnard to Camarillo, even Ventura at 70 for today. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast. We'll start off with Santa Barbara. Here's what you can expect. Windy later tonight, overnight into tomorrow morning. So be a weather watcher, tweet and Facebook and let us know when the winds hit your neighborhood. Otherwise, it's going to be a great week. If you have any outdoor plans, just watch out for that morning fog. Of course, always remember, slow down, use your low beams and also give yourself some space with the car in front of you. Santa Santa Maria 60s by the middle of the week. As we wrap up this work week slow, you're going to be in the low 70s with overnight lows in the upper 40s, two low 50s with a mix of sun and clouds every day and that chance to see morning fog. Paso Robles, you are the one place that is going to see some of the warmest air above everybody else. We're going to see 80s hold steady for the next couple of days. We'll drop down into the upper 70s as we approach the weekend, but by the beginning of next week for Easter Sunday, if you're having a barbecue, any outdoor plans, this will be a great weekend to do it. And we'll start the uh, next week off with a warm note.